Hello and welcome to Vuck Pets, the podcast where we talk about all things furry and friendly. I'm your host, Mr. Favath, and today we have a special guest with us. She is a beautiful dog who has recently gone through a rough breakup with her boyfriend. Let's give her a warm welcome and hear her tale. Hi, thank you for having me on your show. I'm Luna, a golden retriever mix, and I'm here to share my experience of heartbreak and healing. Luna, thank you for being so brave and open with us. Can you tell us what happened with your boyfriend? Well, his name is Rex, and he's a German Shepherd. We met at the dog park about six months ago, and we hit it off right away. He was so handsome, smart, funny, and adventurous. We had so much in common, like our love for chasing squirrels, digging holes, and playing fetch. He made me feel so happy and special. He sounds like a great guy. So what went wrong? I don't know exactly. Things were going well for a while, but then he started to act distant and cold. He stopped texting me as often, he cancelled our dates at the last minute, he ignored me when we saw each other at the park. He said he was busy with work and family stuff, but I had a feeling he was lying to me. Did you confront him about it? Yes, I did. One day, I decided to surprise him at his house with some treats and toys. But when I got there, I saw him in his backyard with another dog. She was a poodle, and she was wearing a pink bow and a diamond collar. They were cuddling and kissing on his couch. Oh no. That's awful. How did you react? I was shocked and heartbroken. I ran up to them and started barking and growling. Rex looked at me with guilt and fear in his eyes. He tried to explain that she was just a friend, that it wasn't what it looked like, that he still loved me. But I didn't believe him. I knew he was cheating on me. What did you do then? I bit him on the ear and ran away. I didn't want to see him or talk to him ever again. He betrayed me and broke my trust. He didn't deserve me. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Luna. That must have been very painful. It was. I cried for days. I lost my appetite and my energy. I didn't want to go out or see anyone. I felt like I had no purpose or joy in life. How did you cope with your feelings? Well, luckily I have some amazing friends who supported me through this difficult time. They came over to my house and comforted me. They brought me food and toys and listened to me vent. They told me that Rex was a jerk and that I deserved better. They reminded me of how beautiful, smart, kind, and loyal I am. That's wonderful. Your friends sound like true gems. They are. They also encouraged me to get out of my funk and try new things. They took me to different parks and trails where I could meet new dogs and explore new places. They introduced me to new hobbies like yoga, painting, and podcasting. Podcasting? That's awesome. What kind of podcasts do you make? Well, I started a podcast called Luna's Love Advice where I give tips and tricks on how to find love and happiness as a dog in the modern world. Wow. That sounds amazing. Can you give us an example of some of your advice? Sure. One of my tips is to love yourself first before you love someone else. You have to be confident and comfortable in your own fur before you can share your life with another dog. Another tip is to be open-minded and adventurous when it comes to dating. Don't limit yourself to one breed or type of dog. You never know who might surprise you or make you happy. Those are great tips. Thank you for sharing them with us. You're welcome. Luna, you are such an inspiration to all the dogs out there who are going through heartbreak or looking for love. You have shown us that there is life after a breakup that there is hope and happiness waiting for us if we are willing to heal and grow. Thank you so much for saying that. That means a lot to me. Luna, thank you for being our guest today on Vuff Pets. 
You are a beautiful dog inside and out. Thank you for having me and th thank you for listening to Vuck Pets, the channel for pets lovers. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And don't forget to tune in next time for more amazing stories of pets and animals. Thank <laughs> you.